A steel ball is dropped from rest a height h above the ground. The ball hits the ground after a time t is repeated for a few heights. So you keep dropping, 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 dropping from a few heights. It's like an experiment. The graph shows the variation of h with t square for the ball. Gradient is g. Which expression gives the acceleration of the ball? Uh, okay. Mm, I think I know what they're asking. This is an experiment. In experiment, we usually draw graph, do linear feet, draw a straight line, plot points. Can we think of an equation that links together h or distance travel with t square? So you may think, 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 this is in kinematics. There's a few kinematics equation we could use. There is one I know that has a t square in it. I bet it's going to be this one. S equals to ut plus half a t square. But in this case, we sub in the values here. The height that you drop a ball down to ground, beep, it drops down, is going to be h. Initial speed drop from rest means u is 0. So this, uh, this whole term here is 0. So you don't need to write. Then all that's left is half a t square. That looks very much like a straight line equation because I can recognize and say, wait a second, this is my y-axis. This t square is my x-axis. That means everything in between here is going to be my gradient. y equals to mx. And the acceleration that we want to find is right here. In terms of gradient. Okay, so we write, we write, based on the comparison of linear form, this is a linear equation, gradient is half A. So I want to find A, that will be 2 times my gradient. Mm. So we go look and see the answer 2G. 2G is down here. So we choose 2G. So it's good skill to have, especially when we have graphs where you want to find the straight line equation, linearize, use the gradient to find some value. Okay, well that's all for this question for uh, linearizing linear law.